Joey Star here for another episode of Star Quality Kitchen. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Continuing my series of delectable frozen foods that I picked up at the Green Market in Monticello, aka the Korean store. I'm very happy to announce that I'm gonna try for the first time these steamed soup dumplings made by who is surely becoming my new favorite Korean product maker, Bibigo. I've only had a handful of their stuff so far and they always seem to knock it out of the park. I have no doubt this is gonna be no different. I'm excited about them for two reasons. Number one, it shames me to say that I've never had a proper soup dumpling before. And it's a shame because I know that soup dumplings are among the very best of foods to come out of Asia. And to add to that excitement, this particular flavor a steamed soup dumpling? Beef bulgogi. I mean, come on. Talk about clash of the food titans, huh? Beef bulgogi and steamed dumpling. I can't contain my excitement right now to be trying these. Unfortunately, at the moment, I do not have a bamboo steam basket system. I would love to have them. They're very inexpensive. I just need to go and get them. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I checked, I believe like you can pick them up for like 20 bucks. But I do have stuff at home. I have my own steamer accessory that came with the pot set that this pot is from. Using it now. Water started to boil, which is good timing because according to these instructions, the first thing I have to do here, like you have microwave options, and of course you have steaming options. Of course I'm gonna go with the steaming options, duh. And according to this, pour the required amount of water in the steamer and bring the water to a boil. That step just completed. Place steamed dumplings into steamer with ample space between each piece. All right, well, let's see what they look like. Okay, so let me show you what these dumplings look like while they're frozen. Okay. Right there, a little condensed there. I love the tops of these. Those are the universal sign for soup dumplings. Dumplings in general. Bottom looks like whatever they were sitting on when they were being produced. It smells pretty good, even frozen. You can smell a little bit of the dough. I can smell maybe some kind of scallions in there. Definitely smell the bulgogi. So according to this, a serving size is five dumplings, which is interesting because if we were gonna follow the microwave instructions, it says to place six of them onto your plate, but a serving is five. So let me place them in there with ample space between them. One, two, three, four, and five, of course, obviously I'm being careful when I place these not to burn myself because there is hot steam coming up. It actually feels good. You now my hands are all soggy. It's like I was just in the schwitz. Okay, so <laughs> cover the lid and heat for six minutes. Got the lid, put that in there. While we were waiting for that, we're gonna set up our dipping sauce. And what I'm gonna do is, I usually make my own dipping sauce, but in the past, BBGO has shown me that they know how to make good dipping sauce. This did not come with its own dipping sauce, unlike the steamed dumplings that I bought at Dollar General, but it does come with a, a mini recipe for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. You wanna make it too? Here's what you need. Little bowl, put your dipping sauce in, duh. Tablespoon for measuring, or my tablespoon just recently <laughs> became broken and I didn't replace it. So I have a half tablespoon, so whatever number they give me, I'm gonna double it. We need some soy sauce, preferably the real stuff. Pico mint's not bad. Any soy sauce that needs to be refrigerated after opening is probably a good one. And I need some water. They say to use vinegar. If my last shopping trip had gone a little bit better, I would have gotten black vinegar, because I feel like black vinegar is really what this deserves. Specifically, Chinese black vinegar would be the best thing for this. Optional items, which I will include, because I know it'll make it taste really good. One of the things is two tablespoons of sugar, and one of my favorite items of late, sesame seed oil. Yeah, baby. I love this stuff. Imperial Dragon. Mm. I got about three minutes left. Let's get this sauce going here. Sugar's already in there. I'm a soy sauce. Four tablespoons, so eight of these. Two tablespoons of water, tablespoon of vinegar, and one tablespoon sesame oil. If you're making this at home and you want to make your own adjustments according to your taste, something to bear in mind about sesame oil, I know I've said it in other videos, is that a little goes a long way. So don't get carried away with the sesame oil. You're going to ruin your sauce. It's going to be way too rich. Sesame oil has a very strong flavor and aroma. Like I'm doing this right now and it's like it's right up to my nose. I'm curious about the taste of the sauce by itself. Let's see here. Ready? Bon appetit. That's no, pretty good. Try a little bit more. Oh yeah, once you get a nice bit, you want to stir it well. You guys want to make sure that the soy sauce is mixing well with the sesame sauce. They complement each other very well. And it's good that the vinegar is there because it helps cut through some of the fattiness of the sesame oil. Kind of enhances the flavor. Uh, it really doesn't give it much bite, but it definitely helps with the flavor. It looks like our dumplings are done. So I pull it from the heat. All right, let's see what we got here. 
It looks like they expanded a little bit. As previously stated, I am a soup dumpling virgin. I've seen a few videos about them. Actually, I've seen a lot of videos about them, including a few providing some instruction on how to eat them. Now, I don't have those Chinese soup spoons, unfortunately. First thing I want to do, I don't know if you can see the skin, how like bouncy it is. I think that's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of that uh, wrinkle. Oh, I got some soup pouring out of it already because I was kind of manhandling it a bit too much. And the soup looks good in there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the seam on here. The aroma is insane. It's funny. It's beef beef bulgogi, but for a second there, I thought I was smelling pork, but it smells excellent. Whoops, oops. And I'm smelling soup, so let me just try some of this broth by itself. Good broth, really good broth. Savory, not overly salted. Well, since I'm kind of ripping this thing apart anyway, I might as well get a look inside here. Really tender dumpling. Let me just chew a little off the top here. Inside, you can see the bulgogi beef. I see a bit of scallion in there, a little bit of carrot, little bits of onion, perhaps? What I've been told to do with soup dumplings, I'm not gonna be able to do with this one because I kind of tore up the, <laughs> the dumpling a little bit. So I'm gonna go a little bit reverse here. I'm gonna leave this on the spoon. I'm gonna add a little bit of the dipping sauce. I've seen a few different ways to approach eating these. Some of them contradict each other. The one thing they all had in common is that the person demonstrating it would really enjoy the dumpling. So I don't think you can really go wrong, though some methods may be better than others. I poured some dipping sauce in there inside the little pouch and I'm just gonna go right from the spoon because this thing's ready to fall apart. Mmm. Holy deliciousness, Batman. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. I gotta honestly say, that met and kind of exceeded my expectations. Again, number one, never had a soup dumpling before. Number two, it's a frozen soup dumpling. The bar is only set so far. I tell you what, I think BB Go is kind of setting the bar. I'm almost afraid to try frozen soup dumpling from another brand because I feel like there's a chance they might disappoint me. BB Go, so far so good. You guys are rocking it. Let's try another one. I should have done this before. I want to try one without the dipping sauce. I want to see how the dumpling holds on its own. If I had a criticism about the soup dumpling, it would be that there's not a lot of soup in there. There's some to decent amount of filling. It's not stuffed with filling, but there's they're not being cheap either on it. There we go. The skin gets fairly thin. It's not translucent like thin, but it's thin enough. Oh, when I've been into it before, I remember there was a nice bounce to it. They say not to just pop a soup dumpling in your mouth, you probably burn yourself. Based on what I'm seeing here, I mean, it's not even dripping out, so I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it. That's really good. For those unfamiliar with Asian dumplings, if your only experience is like wontons, imagine the best wonton you've ever had. Make the dough around it thinner, almost skin-like as far as how thin it is, and enhance that flavor. The dough itself has its own flavor. It's pretty good. Not super pronounced, but it tastes like something. The filling, it's bagogi. I guess that kind of answers it for you, right? If you're familiar with bagogi, bagogi flavor is really good. What I like about Dibigo is that they don't feel the need to over-season their stuff. On its own, pretty good. Let me get a better attempt at eating this the quote-unquote preferred way. If this was a soup dumpling restaurant, this would be a little more round because there'd be a lot more juice in there if you're at a good place. It looks juicy. You know, this one seems a little closer to translucent than the other couple of ones. I mean, you can kind of see in there a little bit, but not enough that I can tell what's inside. I'm going to cut a little bit of the top of my teeth. Normally you do this because you worry about burning yourself. And again, not a lot of soup in there, but typically what you do is you slurp it. Mm. Well, you slurp it or you pour it out into your spoon and then drink that. And then while you have this top open, you're supposed to pour it in here. I poured just enough in there where it kind of replaced the soup that I just slurped up. And then I'm going to go ahead and just try this. Mmm. That was an even better bite than the other bites. This is really good. The dumpling itself is pretty kicking ass. This recipe they have for the dipping sauce, it's not too shabby. It's comparable to some of the other ones that I make on my own, which I learned from watching YouTube, of course. I'm gonna try one more thing here. And because I feel like the risk of burning myself is very low, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna directly just kind of dip it in there. So I think this is what they intended. <laughs> Hopefully I caught that on the camera. I don't know if you saw the soup dripping out. I mean, it's juicy. It's juicy. There we go. I can get a better shot of the insides here. You can see the bagolgi inside. I don't know if you can see the stallion in there or not, but yeah, this is good stuff. I'm gonna dip this in here too, so this way the sauce is on the inside here. Mmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. A, this is delicious. 
B, as you saw, really quick and easy to throw together. And D, five dumplings is not enough for a serving. So I'm thinking that after I finish this last dumpling, uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video and then make myself some more because it, it's pretty darn good. I mean, unless you're eating it with something else, five is not enough. And bouncy wrapper, enough juice in there that you can drip out when you bite into it. Not a full soup dumpling like you get in a restaurant. But that's not to say it's not good. It's quite delicious. Go right in for the dip. I'm gonna really just kind of really dip her in here and just kind of. Mmm. Pop the whole thing in my mouth. So, BBGo, once again, knocked it out of the park. Delicious steamed soup dumplings. I tried the beef bulgogi one. I don't recall now because it's been a few weeks since I've been to the store if they had some other ones. They definitely had some other dumplings. All I know is I saw BBGo, soup dumplings, bulgogi, all on the same package. I was like, yeah, I'm taking that. And here we are. <laughs> In conclusion, as far as the dumpling goes, forget that it's frozen. Just comparing it to other soup dumplings, from what I've seen, a really good soup dumpling is gonna have a lot more broth in it than that. Like some of the better places, that's a characteristic. What? It's not like it's a misshapen wonton, it's a soup dumpling. There's enough broth in there, you can say it's a soup dumpling. Generous portion of filling in there, the bulgogi. Although, I gotta say, it looked like I had way more stuffing <laughs> in the dumpling I saw on that bag than what I got here, but I still got a generous amount. Very flavorful, good fragrance flavor with it from the scallions and carrot and onion although there wasn't a lot in it it was more beef than anything which i definitely don't mind i'm definitely a beef eater is it the best soup dumpling no is it a really good delicious dumpling period hell yes it is if you're lucky enough to have a store that carries this stuff pick it up take this well, well i spent like 10 minutes like five minutes to get the sucker to boil and then five six minutes to uh steam the sucker eat it i made my sauce in that amount of time and even as much as i procrastinate i was able to make this sauce in time and this sauce is so good that i'm just gonna go ahead and make myself another five of these. It's not gonna go to waste. Definitely enjoying this. Hope you enjoyed watching me enjoy this. Hope you're enjoying this mini series of reviews or products that I've gotten from the green market. And let me know in the comments if you have experience with BBGo, frozen soup dumplings, your local Korea grocery market. If you're from this area, if you're close to Monticello, uh, what are your experiences from the green market? What do you like best from them? And is there something that you haven't seen in one of these videos yet from there that you recommend me try out? Let me know and I'll review it. Why not? Thank you so much for watching Star Quality Kitchen. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and stalk. Laters.